Well, hello. Thanks for watching. I pray that you're having a great day in the Lord and that this devotional will bless you. Have you ever felt under-equipped to do the task that God has set before you? Do you wonder, how will I ever be able to do this or that? Well, I hope to show you today that God equips us for his work. But first, you may be wondering, does God really equip us to do his work? Or does, really, does God even have works for us to do? So let's get that settled up front. Ephesians 2.10 says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared ahead of time for us to do. I think that pretty much settles it right there. We are created in Christ Jesus for good works. But, as Scripture says, let every fact be established by two witnesses. So, here is John 14.12, where Jesus says, Truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and he will do even greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. And now it is settled. We have works to do. Now, before we go any further, I want to emphasize that the works we do will not and do not save us. However, once we are saved by grace through faith in Jesus, we will have work to do. Let's move on to the equipping part. Every person, even unsaved, has innate skills and strengths that can be used to do mighty works. But we're not talking about that. Once we're saved, God may call on us to use those gifts and talents that we formerly used for ourselves, only now we use them for God's glory. However, what happens when God calls you to do something out of your comfort zone? Something that maybe we're not particularly gifted at doing? Something we may not even like doing? Well, that's when we need to re rely on God to equip us to do that work. If you're wondering where to start when you need to be equipped, the Word of God is a good place to start. 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17 says, All Scripture is inspired by God and is profitable for teaching, for rebuking, for correcting, for training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. So a good first step in being equipped is to get into the Word every day so that the equipping can begin with a grounding in the Word of God. And how do we know God will equip us? Well, let's look at Hebrews 13, 20 to 21. Now may the God of peace, who brought up from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, equip you with everything good to do his will, working in us what is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. The writer of Hebrews is saying here that the God of peace, who had power to raise Jesus from the dead, has the power to equip us with everything we need to do his will. And he will do this, working in us what is pleasing in his sight. And how is this to be done? Through Christ Jesus. Because, as Philippians 2.13 says, it is God who is working in you, both to will and to work, according to his good purpose. Now, you may still not be convinced, so I'd like to look at another scripture, 2 Corinthians 9, 8. And God is able to make every grace overflow to you, so that in every way, always having everything you need, you may excel in every good work. God will make sure we have everything we need to excel in every good work that God has planned for us. Everything means everything. Resources, time, motivation, strength, money. Whatever you need to do God's work, it will be provided. There's just one more thing. All of these guarantees are dependent on us doing what God wants, not what we want. We may think of a task as a good work, but is it a God work? Is it, is it what God has planned for us to do? The only way to be sure of that is to be so connected with God, in such constant communion with Him, that you have friendship with God. And the way to that type of communion is through prayer. Real, honest, heartfelt prayer. 
Prayer is not so God can get to know us. He knows all about us, the bad and the ugly. You notice I left out the good because there isn't any. Prayer is so we can get to know God. Prayer does not change God. It changes us. The more we know of God through his word and through prayer, the more we will have the mind of Christ in us and the more we would be conformed to his thinking. So if you're seeking to be equipped for a task that you think God is calling you to do, let your search begin with prayer and supplication to God. First, that you may know his will to be sure the work is from God, and second, so that he can equip you to do his work. Next, get in the word. Read the word every day. Then trust him to provide everything you need to do the work he has prepared for you to do. Thanks for listening. Have a blessed day.